Hello, sweet friends. Welcome back. Welcome to my home. If we're meeting for the first time, my name's Rebecca. I have this ironstone bowl that I thrifted, and I picked up some styrofoam and some of the green moss that was on sale at Hobby Lobby, and I'm just adding this to this ironstone bowl, and I found these beautiful paper white faux flowers, and they have the bulb on the end, and I'm gonna add these. And if you're interested in knowing where I pick these up, I will put the link in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get started decorating my dining room, my hutch, and my sideboard for spring. Today, guys, I'm in my dining room. I have already decorated my hutch and my sideboard because I don't want the video to be so long. So let's just go ahead and start with a clean slate and get this table cleaned up. I'm going to use my favorite pledge wax on my tabletop. I love how it gives it that little bit of shine and cleans it up. Next, I want to add this runner that I've got on clearance from Hobby Lobby. And I just love the bright color with the black stripe on it. And I think it's gonna be great for my spring decor. I'm adding these, I think these are more like a placemat. They're not like a charger, but they're a woven type of placemat. I love the light color to them and I'm just going to set up four of the place settings and leave the two end ones open so that my husband and I can still sit down and have our meal without disrupting any of the decorations on the table. Now those mats came from Hobby Lobby and so did the chargers and then I have some little matching coasters that I'm gonna to add to my spring table. The plates that I'm adding are the Bianca that have the little dots on them and I get a lot of compliments for those and they are still sold online. You can find them. Uh, they're a little on the high side now. I got mine for $35, I think a four or four piece place setting and I got two sets. So I paid $70, but it's ridiculous what they're asking now. So this is sort of just gonna be simple. I'm not adding any silverware, but this was the spoon and the towel and the cutting board that I had got from Hobby Lobby that was new in their spring shop. The little bird was new this year and I added a little bird's nest and here is the ironstone bowl that you seen me put together at the beginning of the video. I have a little egg, Ray Dunn egg that says spring, and I've just folded these napkins to where they stand up like a little pyramid. I got those from Hobby Lobby from the spring shop last year on clearance. So I really love that color, a pop of color on my table. I'm also going to add some mason jar glasses, and they don't even match, but I love them. It gives them that little bit of farmhouse flair. This is just very, very simple that I put together for our spring table. Moving over to my hutch, I added the flyer market sign that I got last year, and I have lots of my ironstone and my dishes that match my table setting. And I've added a little bunny and a bird. And I thrifted the vintage cookie cutters. And that's just a little nest in the bowls. And 
and I added some natural carrots that I got from last year and the two little brown bunnies was from Hobby Lobby last year. The wreath on there is new. I ordered that from Hobby Lobby online and the soft touch tulips are from Amazon in that Hobby Lobby vase. And that is a card that my daughter gave me that I put on the little stand there. That was a birthday card and I just wanted to enjoy that. Moving over to my sideboard, I have put the baskets over under the bench. So I have the picnic baskets over there. So I moved the crock with some yellow tulips and I added some bright red tulips in this vase. And if you remember the little tomato basket that I thrifted, I just added some soft touch tulips from Amazon. Uh, the bunny is new this year. I believe it's new from Hobby Lobby. I don't remember seeing it last year. Added some more little natural carrots and then some little fake grass in that little uh, porcelain cup. And on the chalkboard, I just wrote spring in the back and left the lamps and everything up on the walls the same. I just added a little lavender wreath up there. So I didn't change any of the throws on the wilt ladder and it's just very simple and sort of very spread out, but we're gonna enjoy it for the spring. So you guys have to let me know, have you got your spring decorating done yet? Thank you. 